So now this goes, let's go back to the strategy. This is the progression of where things are going. And if we don't do anything, we, I'm really worried that there will be a single proprietary uh, system or company that owns everybody's data, watching what everybody is doing. You know, this big brother thing is, is no joke as we go, as we are, as it gets very, as it gets pervasive. So what do we re recommend? We've been thinking about it for four years, by the way. We went through a lot of ideas. Many ideas don't work, all right? So here is something that we think may have a shot. The first thing we have to do is to make sure that we have open messaging. We have open messaging now. We have to keep it. We have to make open messaging as fun and as appealing to young people as the proprietary messaging systems are today. Okay, so we start with the open messaging. Once we provide the messaging core to the mobile devices, which are under your control, that will allow you to get to an open app platform, and from there, you can go to the open social network. So this is a fight the, to make the messaging pro not proprietary. If we can hold on to that, we have a shot. Otherwise, I'm very, very worried. Okay, so what does that mean to open the messaging system, um, uh, open messaging? open um, uh, text mess uh, social messaging. So this is how we build our networks today. All these phones are connected to get, are on the network, but they cannot talk to each other. Do you know my TCP IP address? How do you message my phone? So as a result, what it means is that even though I pay $100 a month so that I can talk to my friends on the phone, in order to share digital information like pictures, it is the convenient thing for me to put it up on some global, global service just for, it to, for my data to be shared. This is how we create this, this combination, you know, what we have today. So what we are proposing here is that we change the, we, we have a new messaging core that is federated that means that you can have different carriers, different um, people providing you the service. It is secure and has to be grouped from day one that allows friends to talk to each other without always going through some app provider that connects the people together. The project we have um, created is called Musubi. Um, we are trying to appeal to kids, as you can see here with our icon. And what is Musubi stands for? Uh, mobile, social, and ubiquitous, and it is also a Japanese rice ball. <laughs> and, um, and the key here is that it is based on identity. It is identity-based messaging. It is not IP address messaging, device ID messaging. And once you provide this core, all kinds of things can be built on top of it. We have structured it in, such, in a way that the apps that you run don't actually know who your friends are. So we can play a game of scrap, Scrabble, it runs on the phone, nobody sees who all your friends are. As opposed to the current way, when you get on, so if you use Facebook Connect, suppose you and I just use, play Scrabble games, the Scrabble game will, use, using Facebook Connect, will find out what all, all my friends are. And this kind of leaking of information is just not acceptable. So what we have is something that allows you to separate the different concerns. So you can have a social app without the, without the app knowing everything about you. And so this is the privacy honoring identity firewall that we have created. It also works with disconnection and multiple devices. And we have worked with uh, various um, app creators and within an afternoon we turned their apps into social apps. I mean the software is very, very easily um, uh, integratable. So for example, um, take Pulse. How many of you know Pulse? Pulse is a very popular news reader. And um, what we are able to do is that within the newsreader, you have a, a feed from your friends that show you all the stories that your friends sh share with you. And it is done in a way that Pulse has no information, no knowledge of who your friends are. You know who your friends are and, it is, and all the communication is done using the messaging platform that we provide, the secure messaging platform that you provide. And from, uh, if you look at what Pulse gets from it, uh, with very, very little integration, they are ab able to get access to all your, to, it allows you to communicate the new stories that you like with everybody in your contact on their address book very, very easily. So they have very little infrastructure. I give them no information, and at the same time, we get social working on the 
on the app. And for that, they are happy because it just means that there will be more reason for you to be using this app. So it is possible to build social without leaking information all over the place.